Bro, I know you're not in here with my food. I've been told you, stop coming in my crib asking for videos. First of all, get out the way and make my breakfast and you're bugging. You know what? Get out. Matter of fact, I forgot the ketchup. Pour me up some rock, whoa, fill it to the top, whoa. Getting bent seven days a week, that's a lot, whoa. New chain, that's a lot, whoa. Too trippy, get the mop, whoa. Counting money, boogers only, just know that's a lot, whoa. SKX PPY. Yo, 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 what's good? What's good? What's good? If you don't know, I'm Skippy and welcome back to another video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't tell, I'm sleepy. Hush, little baby. Matt, early in the morning, 8 o'clock. Let's get to it. So, this weekend, somebody asked me if I make drill beats. And I said, yeah. But I noticed I hesitated before I answered it. And that's because I think I suck. So today, I'm going to work on that. We're going to work on our 808s for drill. But I feel like they lackluster. And who wants lackluster beats? Nobody. Take forever. All right, cool. <clears throat> Oof, my bad. So we at FO Studio today. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. We at FO Studio. I already got me a little loop. Cause I didn't want to make a melody cause I didn't want it to be like a making a drill beat kind of video. I just want to show you how you can make the 808s better. So I went into Looper Man, you know my website. I found this melody. So did I download it already? Oh, I did. Oof. Wait, so I got it. It's called Catch a Piano. If you want to look for it and use it yourself, it sounds like this. Oop, forgot the... So that's how it sound. Um, so let's get into it. I'm gonna make two different patterns. One is gonna be for like, other one's gonna be for the 808s, and then the other one is gonna be for the drum. Real quick, real quick, we just gonna throw some drums in there. Uh uh. Alright, so with the kicks, what I learned is basically this, is you kind of want this general area to be filled up with kicks, and I would say this general area, these two right here. So, that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to delete, let's see that, let's put these back, and then let's do this, and let's see how that sounds. Alright, y'all see how that just rocked? I don't like that kick though. We gotta bring in a new kick. First number one. <laughs> what? So, you saw my trick. Basically, I'm gonna use this as an example. Basically, what I do is I fill in the first notes like this. And then I take from the one, two, three. I, I do boom right here. And I do boom right here. And then I just delete the stuff that I don't want. And then I add stuff in the other spaces. It just helps me visualize where the, either, where the kicks and stuff to be. Where? And then as you noticed here, I also like to double kick sometimes. So at the end, you hear this. So if you hear the doop doop, like... I like to double kick, but when you double kick, you have to take one of them down just so it doesn't create a clutter in the beat and stuff like that. Um, and you can hear that right here. Like, you know, it's stronger. Actually, I kind of like it like that. Maybe for trap beats it's different, but for these, okay, I might keep it up there. Move it up a little bit more. See? The more you do, the more you learn. Word. Now before I get into the video, I do want to shout out a little comment that I saw in my last video. So, shout out to nobody, you somebody to me. Word. That comment, needed my screensaver, all that meant a lot. Word. Now, enough of the mushy gushy. Let's get to it. I was going to smack the camera, but then I realized I had to smack the camera. I ain't wasted my brand. Alright, cool. So, with the 808s, I always come to the piano roll to do the 808s just because... We have to do 808 slide. If you know what slides are, slide notes are notes that you can put a note and then you can put another note 
in the midst of that note but have that note go from the starting note so say i put a c right here and i stretch it out here but i want that c to go from a c to an a what i would do is i would click up here at this triangle thingy or this skateboard ramp looking thingy whichever one you see it as you click that and then boom now you got a slide note what this would do is it will play the c up until it gets to about this point and then it will turn into an a so let's hear how that sounds i'm also gonna move it just so it can be like you know um where? and i'm also gonna give you two examples of one the note moving with it and then another one with the note on it already Now you heard that, you heard the doo like that's it, stretching from a C to an A. I also didn't do my due diligence and I didn't check to see what um what note the melody was on so that I could like, you know, know how to scale my 808s. Oh, I'm glad I did this word. But so another way that you can help with your 808s and stuff like that is staying in scale. In order to stay in scale, you gotta know the scale. And um, good thing with Looperman, sometimes they tell you the scale if the person who put the melody up there puts it. Um, so it's in the B minor key. So I'm gonna find a B minor scale. Uh, let's see, let's see. Cool, so what I'm gonna do is this. And then I'm also going to mute the notes so it is a b minor scale a b minor scale looks like this we're gonna go to b then we're gonna step up here oh shit yo i'm not gonna hold you i be forgetting that i got the tools so we're gonna start at the b then we're gonna go a whole step a whole step is basically going two notes so um b would be zero c would be one and then c minor would be two so one two then you go a half step which is one note um so that would be here Oops. So that would be here as the D. Um, and then you would do a whole step, which would be one, two. So that would be E. Another whole step. So one, two. That would be F minor. Then a half step. That would be G. And then two more whole steps. So one, two, three, four. Boom. Back to B. And it's crazy because I'll be forgetting that I have this little posted on my computer that tells me that word. And I'm about to share that with y'all. So if you look at your screen, ta-da, you'll have how to make a major scale and how to make a minor scale. This one was a minor scale. So this is the one that we use. You're welcome. Ha, I'm giving y'all cheat codes now. Um, Words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down one. Alright, cool. So I fuck with it. Uh, where? Uh huh. Yo, yo. If you like the video, make sure to like. And if you don't, leave a comment down below to let me know how to grow. Word. And don't freeload. Subscribe. I hope you learn how to make better eight oh eights for your drill beats. You feel me? Um, I know I learned how to today. I just had to remind myself for the tools that I had, and now you got them. So use them. Word. Cause I ain't doing this for no reason. I love when y'all learn new things because it just makes me know that music is getting better. So go make your drill beats, do what y'all gotta do, which I eat a weight and y'all bass and have fun with it. Word. So I'ma let you go. Peace. <laughs> I got this one. Yeah. I hope you don't hate me after I go. You were the one who made me. I hope you don't replace me after I go. Cause you're the one who changed me. I hope.